welcoming you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Protect yourself at all times. Got that? All right. Let's touch it. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. You know, just because you look the role doesn't mean you can play the role. And in a matchup like this, we know one guy has a lot of strength. You can just see the muscularity. One guy doesn't. But this sport has taught us time and time again, sometimes that doesn't matter at all. Like the great Sugar Ray Robinson, a lot of people think the greatest fighter of all time, pound for pound, he used to say that boxing is like geometry. It's about angles, keeping somebody off balance. Not who's stronger, but who can use those assets or who can keep the other guy from using them. Good defensive skill with the block by Bulldog. Oh, and there you go. Great counter punch by Bulldog. It is a seesaw battle early on here. Amazing stuff out of these two. Way through round number one. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it allows you a trail of excuses because now you can start to say, well, gee, you know. I didn't do this, you know, I, I, it's the drudgery of it, and it's the consistency of it. When you have to stay at a weight, and you have to watch that weight, you have to balance it where you're also going to be able to have a physicality when you get in the ring. You don't want to be weak, so you want to get that right balance where you're disciplined, you get the weight down, but you don't lose that physical edge. <laughs> able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Good defensive skill. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Good defensive skill with the block by Bulldog. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm gonna give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by Bulldog. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. There's another left hand from him.
frustrating his opponent with great defense. Oh, look at that. They exchanged hooks. And a well-placed counter by bad intentions. Halfway through round number two. A headshot blocked. Excellent counter punch by bad intentions. Very clean offense from defense by Bulldog. Bulldog's putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter, and the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whenever he's wanted. You can see there's blood on his cheek. Oh, and you can see now he's starting to target that jab with more and more confidence. Blocks that punch. And round number three is underway. On the mark, the counter punch by Bulldog. Up and down, side to side. Good block there by Bad Intentions. A headshot blocked. Nice two punch combo by Bulldog. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. This is really good work here, kind of like a boxing 101, and it's paying off. He's popping off that jab. He's staying at a safe, longer range here, and he's controlling this fight. Yeah, he's controlling real estate. Matter of fact, he looks like a real estate broker to me. He's charging a lot of money for ground right there. Every inch, every foot that his opponent tries to come in, he doesn't charge him 10, 20, 30 dollars. He charges him three, four, five punches. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Nice block by bad intentions. Nice work, great technique, the combo lands. Nice strike after catching one by Bulldog. Tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. He has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are going to say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. No 
Nothing there on the punch by Bulldog. Here we go with the fourth round. Well placed shot after landing there again. Blocked that time. It was intended to the head. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. <laughs> Halfway through this round here. Solid counter punch by Bulldog. Good block there by bad intentions. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Gets rid of that body shot. Blocked there by Bulldog. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Doing well on the outside. Well, there he is on the outside, staying away from any danger, but still able to do what he wants. Hey, Joe, so often we talk about the height, we talk about the length, but how about talking about patience? How about talking about discipline? He's using both those assets beautifully, staying on the outside, getting his kind of fight. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Dog. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. <laughs> Halfway into round number five here. Keeping his hands 
hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. against his opponent. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. Blocks that belt line well. Nice block by Bulldog. Making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. That's a good block by Bulldog. Well targeted counter punch by Bulldog. His opponent got away from that uppercut. Bulldog sitting here wondering why he's getting hit so much. How about this? You're not moving your head at all. Well, how about don't wonder about it? You weren't taught that probably in the gym. You didn't work on that in the gym. Well, it's not going to come to you suddenly when you're in the arena. Pace yourself. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great shins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bulldog. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Got to love the work by Bulldog. And this round comes to an end, a round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Fight has now arrived. Stay away from me, 
parries that punch intended for the head. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you know there it is! Bulldogs in a bad busy, spot guys. right now. Come He's now. been Keep stunned. Busy. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good block by Bulldog. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Two-punch combo by bad intentions. Good defensive skill. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Bad intentions is whiffing there. A big wide sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is. And you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize on it. Blocked by Bulldog. Intentions. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. going to find out exactly what he's made of. Right back to it upstairs. Oh, and he comes in again landing well. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught.
Very nice defensive guard there. Blocked by Bulldog. Ducks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Blocks that punch. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie them up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Shot blocked. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Good block there by bad intentions. He scored well after being hit himself. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Very nice, smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. <laughs> Took a shot, now he gives a left. Devastating blow by bad intentions. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds. Oh! He is down on the floor after taking that shot. And there's a lot of time left in the round. Now, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Able to cover up that gut. Good scoring counter punch by Bulldog. Good block there by Bad Intentions. Gets rid of that body shot. Good defensive skill with the block by Bad Intentions. This is why boxing fans just love their sport. What a round so far, and they're only halfway through it. and turns and a non-stop battle it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go <laughs> parries that punch intended for the head devastating globe by bulldogs we got an interesting fight here it looks like one man is seemingly in control, but the other is still live, is still game, is still capable. It may need to hit that jackpot, though. Well, he probably does need that knockout, so right now he has to adjust his game plan, his thinking a little bit. He's got to look for a spot to land one big shot, maybe when he's pulling out. Good-looking counterpunch. comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I've, How so? Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening, and they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Good one, too, by Bad Intentions. Good block by Bulldog. Blocks away that headshot. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Shot with the block. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Get it out, get it out. 
Good block. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Protecting his head well with his guards. Able to show you his blocking ability. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecard. They're letting everything go in every punch. I guess they wanted it. Look at this action going right out there, wasting no time. No, these guys are impatient. They couldn't wait to get at each other. <laughs> He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Throws a counter punch there. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Dogs losing badly. I mean, do you see it any other way, Teddy? He's losing this fight. Yeah, he is, and he's got to turn it around. And I think it's too late, and I hate to say this as a trainer, but to start doing all the fundamental things that usually you bring to a fight, it's too late for that. He needs to find a way to land a big shot. That's typically not the message you hand out. No, it's not, because the more you look for a big shot, the more you don't find it, and you leave yourself wide open. But he's gotten himself painted into that corner right now. Nice block by Bulldog. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good looking counter punch. And for the official judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, the intentions! Bad intentions is your winner by unanimous decision, Teddy. Well, the question from the beginning was, could he get inside and make it his kind of fight? He did. A yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.